Hi everyone, this is Munganda. Today we are going to see RS in Go language. Like other languages, we have the RS inside the Go language, which is the very basic term to build the slices. In order to understand the slices, first we need to understand the RS. For the people who are new to the array concept, it is just like you are creating the n number of data elements with the same type. So that will be called as the array. So in order to create the array, initially you need to know the size of the array. That means how many elements you are going to save into that array and what type of the elements. So these are the basic two things you need to need to know before creating the array. In general syntax will be like square brackets n followed by the t. t stands for the type of the element. So that means that you are going to save n number of elements with the type of t. So that will be your n hyphen t. An array length, it will be the part of your type. So that means that initially you need to know about the array. Once you decided the array size, you cannot resize in the later stage. But in Go language, we have the slice concept that we can play around with the size as well, which will make the dynamic size. For understanding array, just we will go one by one. Here, as usual, normal, we will just declare the variable. But when you declare the variable, you need to mention the size followed by the type of the array. So in the same way, we are creating length of three and in type of array. Then after, if you are going to print it, then you will be having the zero values for the particular type. The type can be anything. For example, you can have int, float, or let's say string or boolean. Everything will have the zero value. For example, int will be having the zero, float will be having the 0, 0.0, and boolean will be having the zero value as false. The zero values will be filled initially if you don't mention anything, but in later stage, you can assign the values by using the index. In Go language, array starts with zero index. That means that first element will be the zero index and so on. And we are printing the element after assigning some value to that. Just we'll go to the console and execute C. Okay, I think I want to save this one. So let's clear it again. It is showing the previous output. you can see clearly first time when you create it will be having the three elements integer type and the zero value for the integer type will be the zero that's why you are seeing zero comma zero comma zero and after that when you assign the value by using the index of zero that means the first element will be replaced with the triple nine so that's why you are seeing after the assignment you are seeing the triple nine followed by zero comma zero okay then we will go to the next level so creating with values when you create the array itself, you want to give the values that time you can directly use the curly braces to assign the values directly to them. Now we are going to use the shorthand notation along with the assigning the values directly to the array. For example, here to the assignment operator, then after you are having the size and it is type of string and we are directly assigning the values Go, Python and Java 3 values directly by using the curly braces. Then we are printing that one. Here you can see directly it has the value so it is assigned directly so we are using the shorthand notation along with the string value assignment and then after we can use the ellipse operator so in go language three dots will be considered as a ellipse operator or you can consider as a multi-variable argument or multi-arguments variable arguments you can tell so that means that you can send any number of elements and it will consider that as the input. For example, functions, if you have some multivariable arguments, you can send a single element, multiple element, or zero element as well. The same way here, if you don't know the size of that, if it is a very long thing, you can directly mention the ellipse operator, then you can mention all the things that you are going to assign to the particular array. Here you can see, even though it is very small, just I am considering as here, I don't know the length of the values I have in the list. So I am just mentioning the ellipse operator. It will take an automatically. And then after if you want to see the length in later stage, you can use the length parameter. So actually length is a method which will be available by default to you. Whenever you pass some array to that, it will give the length of that. Here you can see it has the length of four and the values have been printed as we entered here.
in code language array will be the type value that means that whenever you are reassigning something the value will be copied and assigned to the new variable for example i have the old array here by using the ellipse operator i'm just creating the int array having let's say one two three four values sorry three four five values it has 100 200 300 400 and 500 then after before before just assigning something or doing some operation i'm printing the old array then after i'm just assigning the same thing to the new variable shorthand notation i'm just assigning to the new variable called new that means that whatever the value it has in the old array the value will be copied to the new array so that there will not be any changes to the old array if you are making anything new to the i mean new changes to the new variable so new variable as soon as i copy it to the new variable i am just printing after that and i am changing something inside the new variable i am changing the index of zero in the new variable to the triple four then after i'm printing old and after so that means that it will give the output only changes to the second that means the new will be changed and old will be remain as it is let's see uh, and run the code and we will see the output here sorry line number eight three okay i will format this one sorry command so You can clearly see old array and new array both are same when you assign it. Okay, fine. And you are making changes to the new array for the first element, and it will not make any changes to the old array element. So that means that it is copying the value by value, not by the reference. So that means that you are not just adding one more reference to the variable, you are just copying the value totally to that. So that's why you will be having the changes only in the new variable. And then after we are going to see the comparison. So comparisons in the sense it will compare only if it is having the same length and the same time. Then only the comparison will work it out. Otherwise, it will not work it out. For example, here you can see I am creating the dynamic array, or you can say directly I am assigning the values size of two and it is a type of in and the values are two comma one and the same thing on the your right hand side. Here below the second print statement, it will be having the 2 comma 1 on your left hand side. But on the right hand side, you have 2 comma 99. That means that both are not same. So that means that first of all, it will consider the length and the type. So once the length and type matches, then it will compare. If all the elements are matching, then it will give us a true. If it is not, it will be giving us a false. Just run only this line and we will see. Here you can see true and false. That means that first one size matches, length matches, then it is available or eligible for the comparison. Then it compares the elements of the each array, both array. So that means that it will both are same. That's why you are getting the two. If one value also changes, you will be getting as a false. In case if you have the same length but different type or same type but different length, in both cases you will be getting the compare time error. For example, here you can see. It is having the different length. Here it is 4, here it is 2, but it is of same type. If you try to run this, you will be getting the mismatched types. That means the type in the sense, the type will be considered together. For example, the type of the data and length of the data, both will be considered as a type. That's why it is giving the mismatched type. One has the 4 and another one has 2. But even though it has the same type in. Then we will run this one. Here in this case, we will be having the same size but it will be having the different types so for that what we are going to get it will be the same error that means the mismatched types even though sizes of the both arrays are same but the type of the array or the values will be different so that's the reason we are getting the compile time error the mismatched types so far we have seen the single dimensional array in the same way we can create the multi-dimensional array for shorter notation, just I am creating the multiple array or multi-dimensional array. Here I am just mentioning the two dimensions. That's why I am having the two square brackets. And each dimension will have the three cents. So that means the three into three. And the value or the value type will be int. And I am giving the three values for each integer. For example, inner array will be having the three values, one comma, two comma, three. Like that, we have the three arrays that we have been given, four, five, six, and seven, eight, nine. So just it will be the same like other languages you will be giving the multi-dimensional array before that i will save this
here you can see the multi dimensional so the, the main array will have three elements and the inner elements each will have the three elements again which is 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 8 9 so in this way we have understood what is array inside of one language it is very similar to the other languages or uh, if you are known about the c language it is very similar to the but the main point what we have seen is like how to create with empty values or the zero values or how can we create directly with values something like using the curly braces and we have seen the ellipse operator which is nothing but the three dot operators then of then after we have been seeing array is the value type when you make the assignment to the new variable it will be copying the value not the reference so that's why we will be having the value type array is of value type and we can change with the indexes and the index starts with the zero so that we have been seeing and after that we have seen when you can compare when you have the same length and same type then only you can make the comparison otherwise you will be getting the mismatched types and we have been seeing that we have the let's say option to create the multi-dimensional array like other languages in go language so that's all about the array so thanks all thanks for watching and have a great day